can't this. help it. I'm broken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broken. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Hello there, folks, and welcome to the Sort of Interesting Show. I'm Dan Brown, and with me as ever is... John Griffiths. So then, Jono, what would you say has been the highlight of the year? Well, the highlights of the year, I'd say, was the t- two times that we went canoeing. Excellent. I'm glad you agree, otherwise all these show notes would be completely <laughs> wasted. <laughs> yes, we had a couple of good canoeing trips this year. Um, we head out to a local place by the name of Maysbury, where the canal runs through, and... We've got to say, this is an exceptionally cheap place to hire a canoe out, as we've been paying £5 between us for a canoe for, well, literally all day on the one occasion. Um, so then, what do you think? Yeah, it's good fun. You know, paddling up and down, snaking our way through reeds and around oh, good grief. canal it's, barges. It's not a, a straightforward journey, as the straight canal would suggest. <laughs> uh, when we get to the locks, though, we haven't got a key or anything, so we literally have to get out pull the canoe out, drag it up the side of the hill and then put it back in the water at the top. And when there's four or five in a row, that can get a bit tiring. But once we got past them few, it was about four or five miles of straight paddling then. Yep. Well, straight straight by our standards. (laughs) (laughs) Just as a random side note, we were told it was illegal to go in the locks on a canoe, which obviously we didn't and wouldn't suggest anybody does. Obviously, round water, be safe and sensible and wear life jackets, yeah. all of that sort of stuff. Um, but saying that, it is good old-fashioned fun out on a canoe in the water. You wouldn't really want to be in a canoe in any other, <laughs> any other environment. Very true, very <laughs> true. <laughs> we've been twice this year, once at the start of summer and once at the end. Yeah, so we've seen the extremes of the weather conditions. So we said, on the first trip where... We were out in probably April-ish time. And yeah. Had an excellent, whew, I'd say, eight-hour trip. Very hard work on the poor little arms. <laughs> but blazing hot day, sun in the sky. Yeah. Couldn't have asked for a more perfect summer's day. That was sun cream weather. Apply, you know. Oh, I think yes. I got sunburn on my legs in the end. <laughs> I think I got sunburn on my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I had panda eyes from where I was wearing sunglasses all day long. <laughs> But then the last time we went, we saw quite a different uh, weather set. <laughs> we weren't as fortunate, were we, this time oh, round? good grief, no. Well, it was quite bitterly cold wind blowing, which made it exceptionally difficult to paddle into the wind, but rather pleasant away from the wind. And also a nice little bit of rain just to give us the full <laughs> water experience. <laughs> now, we weren't alone this time when we went. We had a couple of friends with us who had to hide their own canoe as well, which we had a... We've got a fun tale to tell about Indeed. that. Indeed. It's possibly the greatest Dan and Johnny <laughs> moment of the year. Maybe even all time. <laughs> so then, the story goes like this. We were generally paddling the canoes up and down and the usual trying to have a race, but neither of the canoes were manned by professionals, so it wasn't wasn't going particularly quickly. So anyway, our dear canoeing companions took... A slightly wrong turn, as in they didn't carry on going straight down the canal, they turned straight into the edge. We took this as an opportunity to paddle away as fast as we possibly could. Full steam ahead, so to speak. Oh yes, right around the corner so that we were then out of view. And then we thought, ah, let's try and hide in the reeds at the side. And then we got there, and I'll let you take over from this point. <laughs> and then one idea just escalated into the other. At one point, we thought, oh, look, we can get out. So, so we pulled the canoe out <laughs> and decided to hide there. But then we thought, oh, quick, let's run around the back and see if we can put it, in the, put it back in the water down the road. So we're walking through the field with the canoe at the side of the canal hiding behind the reeds because we could see our friends talking and at one point I thought they saw us as they paddled past expecting us to be around the corner we were proper like going prone ducked down as low as we could go in absolute stitches as we could hear him paddling past and so then we know that's it the great moment we can now put the canoe in behind them and completely befuddle them and well At this point, we put the canoe back in the water and then we must have followed them for a while. It took us so long to get a place to put the canoe back into the canal. So they managed to get a huge lead on us, paddled off all the way down, obviously full steam ahead, trying to catch up with us, who they thought were ahead of them. 
So we then had to paddle Lake Bilio to try and catch up with them who were trying to catch up with us. So then, in this whole chaotic confusion, we had to paddle as quietly as we possibly could when we were approaching them. And we still, I don't know, managed to almost make it perfect and probably got within 20 metres before we were finally spotted. They're behind us! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that was fun. <laughs> it was as good as it sounds, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you shouldn't mess around at the water and we don't condone that sort of behaviour at all. Absolutely not. We are obviously just fools. <laughs> As we suggest that you do not take part in such ridiculous actions and antics, it has to be said canoeing is just a general good old thing to do. Just get out there for an afternoon, maybe a whole day, depends on how much upper body strength you've got to spare. <laughs> on our eight-hour trip, that was a particularly good day, just... Headed out there in the morning, saw the sun rise over us and beat down with its incredible heat all day. Have a nice picnic and just generally stopping and seeing the sights and sounds of the canal. Yeah, so it was a good day out all in all. Plenty of exercise. Oh, definitely. Making the day after, you know, plenty of fresh air. Yeah, it's good fun. Yeah, I would concur with all of that. And it's just something different to do. Now, I'd like to apologise if our voices sound different to just a moment ago, as we've literally just had to cut about five minutes of constant laughter when Jono managed to bring us to our knees when he realised the words to do rhymed with canoe. I don't know why we found that so funny. Oh, anyway, moving swiftly on, we'll, we'll draw this to an end as this has now become quite an epic recording session. So you can even see a video of me and Jono's canoeing adventures if you check out goodoldsortofinteresting.com. Give us a review on iTunes, uh, like us on Facebook, just search for Sort of Interesting. Jono, I believe you're on Twitter? Yeah, I'm at Jono underscore Griffiths one. And I'm also on Twitter, I'm at sort underscore of underscore Dan, sort of Dan. I suppose all that's left to say is, until the next time, farewell. Goodbye. to do what rhyme with canoe. <laughs> <laughs>